I'm my friends. Uh, as some of you know, I've tried to do zero waste for almost a year now. Uh, it's been an on and off adventure. Um, I've been able to substitute a lot of things, but there are some things that I, we still fall back on. Um, a lot of foods come packaged, uh, unless you can find a place to find them in bulk, like your pastas and uh, of course, you can get those in box as well, and the boxes are easier to to uh, dispose of and recycle than the little plastic bags. Um, and then there's also the the pop mum wants every now and then comes in big plastic bottles. Um, These are some of our everyday foods. Um, of course, Velveeta. That's one of mom's favorite cheeses for her dip. And there's her butter. Um, she likes asparagus, one of the few vegetables that she does like, but she has to have it out of the can. The mushier, the better. Um, have to get uh, these beans in a can every now and then um, when I don't have time to cook some. Um, then you have to buy your peanut butter in plastic containers. This is Nettleman's peanut butter. They both have their own peanut butter jars. And they have to be plastic just in case it falls out of mom's hand. Um, there won't be a serious mess. Um, and then, of course, you know, other things. Um, chicken, Rotel. Um, here's one of mom's pop bottles. I only got it because she's going to... They were having uh, people over and I got this and a couple of other um, two-liter bottles. Um, this is what I usually get her. I know nobody's coming along. Some of these Mexican cups, these glasses are easier to recycle. This is a the empty coffee tent uh, container. Um, I kept it and I'm using it as a little compost bin. There's some coffee gr grinds in there, some onion, and some lettuce. And I'll save that and go dump it in my big bin. I might show you that another time. These are a few substitutions that I have. I have made myself change. Um, something that fills up the landfill are the toothbrushes and the plastic straws. Of course, plastic cups as well. And I have my water bottle. This is a glass bottle. This is a clearance item from Target that I found a couple of years ago. And this also was a clearance item from Kroger. I used this for hot liquids and that's my water. Um, these are some metal straws I got, uh, stainless steel straws I got on Amazon. I had several. I think there were six, and it was uh, under $10, but I've since given given them out to many people. And there's a bent one. There's a straight one. This is a little hanky. This is a big handkerchief, and I cut it I cut it down and stitched the sides, and this is my little hanky I, I take with me wherever. Um, this are bamboo toothbrushes. This can go into my compost pile later. I got these on Amazon. Actually, I got a year's worth. I got 12, and they were under $13. Um, I think it was worth it. And, uh, like I said, they, they can go right straight to the compost bin. It's bamboo. Or something else that I have to buy in plastic. This mom, one of mom's snacks. These little Cheeto puff balls. Um, she can't do without those, and I'm not going to make her. Um, of course, you have to buy bread in plastic containers. Uh, there's mom's mocha head. There. That's her Mexican engagement ring. She got one. She got married. Of course, we've had to replace this many, many times because it wears down. And, yeah, and I do go to uh, secondhand stores. This nice little bread box came from a secondhand store in Arlington. It was very nice. It's got a little cutting board on the bottom, too. It's wonderful. I have a plastic container up here. I don't like to use it. It's mostly for flowers. And I have a collection of, I don't think you can see that, mason jars. Uh, the mason jars are uh, used to store um, food in the refrigerator or um, if I'm uh, doing uh, leftovers, uh, taking it with me. I try not to take it to work. 
I don't know. I, I'm very unsure of myself dropping stuff at work. Um, so I mostly take my little stainless steel a lunch tin. This is a lunch tin I got on Wish.com. That was uh, under ten dollars. It has a couple of containers. I can take a salad and fruit. I usually take fruit to work. I have the late shift, and by that time I've already had my my dinner. And this is just for fruit. And it stays pretty cold in here, and it snaps shut. It's not a real Benton box. I'm close enough. And of course, that came from China. I'm really unsure if it's 100% stainless steel, but it seems to do the job well, as long as it's not aluminum. And um, I did test it in the magnet. Well, um, anyway, I hope you try uh, to substitute a few of your items and, and start looking at your uh, purchases a little, a little more. I made um, cloth produce bags out of a laundry bag I bought it at uh, Walmart. I cut it up and just stitched it up and I can carry um, um, vegetables instead of the, in the little plastic bags. Um, I also found some very small uh, laundry bags and they're good enough to carry corn and green beans and, and whatnot. I think I have, I have a picture of that in a previous uh, video. It was like reteaching, shopping. Anyway, um, I hope you like this video. I hope you uh, subscribe and hope to see you soon. Y'all have a nice evening.